Hey everyone, Kathy Zilski here. Welcome back to the craft slash dining room. Today I'm sharing a holiday tag project that I shared also over on the Simon Says Stamp YouTube channel. So if you think you've seen this one before, I just told you. If you haven't seen it, stick around because of this little tagger, so cute. The Chunky Mary die is a layered shadow and word die that cuts out the outline and the shadow layer. Now I'm not gonna use the shadow layer today, I'm just using the outline of the Mary. And that is going to be for the greeting on the front. I'm also gonna be using one of my nested tags. This is a collection I designed for Simon Says Stamp and it also comes with cute little reinforcement dies. I've got a little powder, some embossing ink, and a little bit of baker's twine. For my cardstock today, I've got two pieces of craft, a little bit of Nina Solar White Classic Crest, and some patterned paper. And then I'm going to stamp on the back of the tag using this cute Let's Make a Tag Set for a little to and from for my recipient. Let's jump into making the tag. So first things first, I've got to cut out two tags, one for the front and one for the back. So I'm going to cut those off camera using my Gemini Junior die cut machine. Then I'm gonna center the outline Mary right on one of the tags and run that through. I'm going to pop out all of the insides and I could save those for another tag project or card project for my tag today, however, I just want that. All right. Next, I'm going to take just this little strip of pattern paper and cut it down so that it will fit behind perfectly. Now, this is a die that you can also inlay your pieces of different pattern paper. You just have to run it through several times, but I thought this is just an easy solution. Just back it with the pattern paper. You get all that background with one bang for your buck, so to speak. And what I'll do is add a little dot runner all around the cutout area so that I can adhere my little strip of pattern paper to the back of the tag. And of course, this is all gonna get sandwiched with the other side of the tag, so no one will see that piece. I'm always thinking. All right, had to trim it down just a tiny bit more, and I needed to bring this outline back in because as I put the glue down, I realized that I moved the little inlay parts for the E. So I just straightened those back out, pressed them down, and then lifted out that craft outline because I'm going to cut that out with white cardstock. I cut it out with the white and I'm gonna add some spray adhesive off camera to the back of that outline Mary. And then I'm going to pop it right into the opening. See that just gives a nicer contrast than the craft would have. And now I just press it in gently and stick that in for that inlaid look. You could stack this up a few more times if you wanted to, just for a little raised dimension off your tag, but I wanted to keep it simple, so we're just going with one inlaid layer. Just gonna give that a nice press with my bone folder so it's nice and adhered, and then I will add the centers of the R's, add a little liquid glue, and just position those. I could have brought in the letters to get it perfect, but honestly, I feel like this is a pretty easy center of a letter to eyeball. Let's press that down, added the second one, and then I also saved the insides of the R's from the craft cardstock because I want that to help define the letters. And the last little piece, there's a tiny little triangle of craft that's going to go right in between the R's, again, to help define and separate the letters. So now it's all inlaid, easy to read, and it looks fantastic. So that's the front of the tag and I thought it would be cute to add a reinforcement out of some glitter cardstock. So what I did, I cut two out, one for the front and one for the back with the little sort of sundial style. I don't know what I would call that, but it's cute. So I'm going to add a little bit of tape runner and just pop that down over the hole for a little reinforcement and a little shine. I thought that was kind of cute. Now for the back of the tag. I'm gonna add a, a to and a from, and then I thought I'd add may all your Christmas dreams come true. So I'm getting those lined up. I'm gonna use my Misty today just so that I can get nice even pressure and have it be nice and straight. I'm gonna pick it up with the Misty door, powder up my tag with my embossing magic to remove static and oil, and then I'll ink up the stamps with the clear embossing ink, 
and press that down. Nice even pressure. And now I'll just hold on to my little tag with the clothespin so that when I heat this up, my fingers are far away from the end of my heat tool. And I'll get that white powder on, let it sit, tap a little off. I missed a little on the C there. Figured I'd hit it again. And now we are ready for heat setting that powder. My heat tool is nice and hot and I'll quickly melt the powder. And then I have my white embossed to from and little greeting at the bottom. Now it's time to adhere the two tag pieces together. So I'll add the dot runner to the back of the tag that I just embossed. And the nice thing too, this helps straighten it out. I didn't want to stamp and emboss while they were both together. But now I'll use my score buddy to quickly press one side of the tag into the corner and line that up just like that. And now I have almost finished my tag. The last piece is to add that little shiny reinforcement to the back side, and then I'm going to run through my twine. So popping that on. And I cut a long length of twine because I don't really know what kind of package this is gonna go on, but I thought better to be safe than sorry. So I'll just run that through with lots left over. And that'll just give me options for when I'm ready to use this tag. But that's the finished project. I love the inlaid look. I love how sturdy this feels. And again, you could just grab a white jelly roll pen and write who it's to and who it's from on the back. And you have a very charming tag for your package. Who knows? Your recipient, they just might like the tag as much as they like the gift. I hope this inspires you to make a holiday tag. There are so many ways you can take the craft supplies that you already have and you know what they say, tag it up. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.